My glasses! My sweatshirt! Don't ever let me catch you shoplifting again. At my agency, our door is always open. Why? Is the lock broken? That was a case for later. Today, I had a person case. John Karate? You've been served. I've never lost a dance battle in my life. So I didn't have a person case, I had a legal case. I was being sued by a bus stop lawyer. We're prepared to settle for $50,000. That's fair compensation for disemboweling and blinding his brother. He was already a gutless coward who couldn't see the error of his ways. Maybe so, but you don't get to decide what justice is. And you do. You're just a hustler from a two-bit law school. Actually, I went to an 8-bit law school, and I'm a respected lawyer. This guy sure had a lot of visual aids. Face it, you can beat up thugs all you want, but you can't beat the law. Unfortunately, America is still a nation of laws, and not the karate-based utopia it will someday become. And I had overstepped my legal bounds. So I'd be needing 50 Gs. My lack of marketable skills meant I'd have to make it the old-fashioned way. Entering an underground martial arts tournament on a secret island. Welcome to the 14th annual Kumite on my private island. I saw my opponents before me, and I knew what I'd do to each one. The emergency rooms would be filled with my fallen foes, straining the island's economy. And how would my beatings affect the fighter's health insurance premiums? So much hardship. Enough! Huh? Now we can destroy each other, or we can give back. What do you mean? I mean, why tear down when we can build up our communities? All I know is jujitsu. Block right! Block left! It's just like waxing a car. Wax on. Wax off. Blocking up and down is just like painting a fence. So right now, I'm going to challenge all of you. Do some good. Tournament called on account of kindness. Yay! It felt good to help out, but I still needed 50k. Then I realized I could just sell this speedboat. 50 grand. Sweet. Just sign here. You know this settlement sets a legal precedent. You'll be held liable for any future victims of your vigilanteism. So keep doing what you're doing, if you can afford it. Looks like I had a choice. Follow laws made by man or a code from God. Of course, atheists will say man made up God. But even so, would you rather follow men who make up laws or men who make up gods? Come on, stop him! He's taking all the money without paying my fee! Fine. Well, why don't you run after him, bro? Running is for people without ninja stars. I actually felt sorry for the lawyer. Judging by his clients, he'd eventually be co-opted by the mob, and we know how that ends. If only he'd used his talent to give instead of take. 